Hello YouTubers, this is a uh, video presented to you from Thermodyne Systems and from the Turbine King. Uh, we want to talk about these relays. Um, the manufacturers have been in a war on these um, charge controllers and I've had several of them since my system is a little old. I've tried different ones and the one I'm currently using from Thermodyne right now um, seems to be the winner because it's uh, um, it's not as sophisticated uh, and it's held up. Um, the other one I've burned two boards out um, and uh, only because <laughs> well they're feeding 12 volts off the batteries but the solar panels give out more uh, than 12 volts I'm sorry 24 volts and they're getting as high as 36 which means it's reached the plus or minus threshold of the controller anyway let's talk about the relays because that's what this is about I have two relays here this is the old one that everybody's familiar with they've seen this relay um, it's uh, uh, everybody's using it because it's cheap um, which is a bad word in sales but it's cheap um, and it works well it works up to a point this one here is a new relay that Thermodyne has um, found and we're going to be going into production with these and presenting these to the people uh, they're a lot more expensive but the ratings on them are uh, a lot better and they s seem to be a lot more substantial um, they seem to run um, a little cooler than these do uh, when they're engaged and let me talk about the specifications on these things I hope you can see this let's talk a little bit about how relays are specced uh, engineering wise uh, there's only a few engineers out there that um, uh, in this business so you know they understand this the old relay had a hundred milliamp coil well, what that meant was that was the coil that pulled the plunger that's in here back and connected to these two well that's a uh, that's a good thing because it doesn't draw a lot but it's a small relay too the relay is rated for 400 amp burst burst means a surge that's all yeah it'll handle 400 amps for about 10 seconds that's all it's rated for so the 400 amps before everybody got into this uh, amp war um, is a fallacy actually this is rated for 100 amps in its normally closed position um, and 300 amps in its bypass position which is on these side terminals so that means uh, that you can't exceed 100 amps continuously so let's say you had uh, um, 100 amps in solar this would just be borderline this particular one uh, failed on me um, with 75 amps uh, 75 to 80 amps continuous from my solar and uh, then my wind turbine would kick in and uh, that would just exceed it so it was going up and down so it was seeing a little bit of uh, back and forth but in time and that was a short time about a month uh, this stopped passing current through these two normally closed contacts uh, Thermodyne ran into a problem with these uh, on multiple turbines because we were exceeding the 100 amps well that was a new problem that the uh, the new Avenger had uh, presented or dual core uh, had presented to us so um, uh, Thermodyne went out on the hunt to find a new relay well here's the replacement relay this is affectionately called a beer can because well it's about the size of a beer can the ratings on this one are considerably better uh, for example the coil is almost double what this is why is that well that's because the 
pressure spring that holds the contacts closed uh, on here um, is stronger, much stronger. So it's holding a tight connection against the, the uh, uh, lugs inside here. This one here, I'm not even sure it has a spring in it. Uh, before it jammed, you could shake it and the plunger would rattle up and down. This one here, you could shake it and there's nothing at all. Now, I haven't even used this yet. This has been, hasn't even been touched. But, going by engineering specifications, this one's rated for 700 amps burst. Now, here's the good thing. Especially if you're running a combination of uh, uh, solar and um, wind, and you want to use the same dump controller, this will handle up to 500 amps continuous and 500 amps on bypass. So this is twice, or, or actually four times, five times, stronger when it's relaxed than this guy. Now, yes, this is going to cost more money, but the thing is, you spend a lot of money putting your solar system together, you spend a lot of money putting your wind turbines in, and you're going to have a uh, $15 relay stop the system from working. Where's the benefit of that? Uh, I'm not, I'm sorry, I'm not uh, um, enthused by just watching things spin around in circles. I want to see what's going on down in my utility room. I want to see the meters moving up and up and up. And that's what's happening. So Thermodyne has replaced um, the relays uh, on the two jobs that uh, I'm talking about. And they've been working beautifully now. So we're going to be probably going into production. We may be offering two because this would be okay for two or three um, relays or two or three um, Thermodyne uh, wind turbines, the uh, Avengers and the Avenger 2s, uh, that'll be fine. Well, well, actually, that'll be borderline with three of them. Uh, the other guys, you could probably get four on, maybe five. This one here, though, it's guaranteed. It's, it's a no-brainer. Yes, it's going to be more expensive. But going back to it, uh, do you want to replace this four times? Or do you want to just put one in and never have to replace it again? And with that, regards from Thermodyne and the Wind Turbine King. Thank you very much, everybody.